So you've got some confusion with the migratory birds problem. Right, let's dive into it. So you're going to get an array with a series of bird sightings. And each element in that array is going to be either 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5, as we can see here. And what that represents is an ID of a specific bird type. Okay, type 1 bird, type 2 bird, and so on. And what we're trying to do is work out which one of those bird ID types is most frequent, which one comes up the most in this array. However, it might be the case that two ID types, such as in this example here, share the same amount of times they come up, they share the same frequency. Therefore, this particular problem wants you to pick the lowest type. So how do we solve that? So what we want to do is essentially loop through all the possible bird type IDs from 1 to 5. And we want to basically measure up if one or the other for, for each one is bigger or smaller than the next one. So how would that look? Well, I'm going to basically hypothesize that type 1 is the initial bird of the most sightings. And I'm going to, so I'm going to say int bird is equal to 1. Because I believe the, the most sightings are going to be from number one. It's just a hypothesis, and it's what we're going to essentially prove or disprove with this for loop. So now, because we've already looked at type one, we want to start with type two in our loop, because that's the next one we want to compare against, right? We want to compare if type one is bigger than or smaller than or equal to type two. So we have five types all together, so we want it to be smaller than or equal to 5 and i plus 1 as it's a for loop right okay so now we're in our for loop what do we actually want to do well there's this beautiful beautiful piece of code in java called collections dot frequency and all you have to do is put in your array against the particular value that you're aiming to find and in this case it's going to be I, right? You want to look at the frequency of 2 in, because it's I currently, in the array, and you're going to compare it against the frequency of whatever we've currently hypothesized is the most. So, what do we need here? We need an if statement. So, if collections.frequency, and essentially we want it to be anything you, you think, oh, we want it to be anything that's bigger, right? Anything that's bigger, yeah, that makes perfect sense. Anything that's bigger than collections, we'll do the same one again. But this time we're going to compare it against bird, because bird's our initial idea of what might be the biggest. So if it is the case that this current one we're looking at is bigger than our original hypothesis, then what we need to do is we need to re um, reassign bird with the new value. So bird equals whatever i is, right? Okay, so now if bird equals i, in this case, if well, i is 2 and bird is 1, if the frequency of type 2 is higher than the frequency of type 1, then obviously we reassign bird to type 2. Now you might think, well, okay, what about the instance when they're the same? Well, that's why we've done bigger than. That means if it's the same, bird will never get here, bird will never be reassigned, okay? So this is simply it, it will go through all the different stages up until number 5, comparing which one's bigger or smaller. And if it is, it will reassign i to bird. So the only thing left to do now is to uh, return bird and let's run it. Okay, so let's run the code and see what we get. Yep, all test cases passed. And let's submit the code. Yeah, nice. Perfect. So, yeah, collections.frequency. It's a beautiful bit of code. But, no, thank you for watching. And, yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe. Uh, I've got a whole new collection on Computer Science 101 coming up. So, yeah, stick around and I uh, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.